a timeout, but none comes. Where does your mind go to try and get the play going and, and get back? Uh, I mean, he didn't signal for a timeout once Paulo hit the three. Uh, that's why JJ, well, I think I took it out. What was the, I can't even remember. Uh, I took it out. He didn't call the timeout. Uh, I think JJ was trying to get the ball to Trey, obviously. Uh, and Trey was denied, so, you know, I got the ball and it was a goal in the game. Can you just talk us through just your, right, right when you saw the shot go in, what was just the initial feeling? I mean, it's a make or miss lead. You're going to make or miss shots, but, you know, with me, I always feel like I'm going to make the next shot if I miss a shot. So, uh, you know, it just comes from just working hard and just being, you know, extremely confident in myself. Uh, even my teammates, my teammates took the shot, I believe, is going in. Uh, so, you know, I didn't shoot it with the intentions of, well, I'm going to miss this shot. You know, it was like, let's go home and, you know, make the shot. Jante, as you were coming up the court, did you have any move in mind? Were you trying to get all the way to the rim? Did you know you were going to pull up? Can you kind of take us through, as soon as you got the ball and bounce, kind of what your plan was? Uh, I mean, I'm a, a react type of guy, so trying to really take what the defense gives me. Uh, obviously, you're trying to get all the way, knowing we're in the bonus, but you know, knowing that the mid-range is my sweet spot, so uh, you know, I took the shot, rose up over and made a great shot. What are moments like to ask you, not only for your confidence, but this I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like you want, uh, you know, great basketball games, you know, uh, you know, competing at a high level from, I feel like, a fan standpoint. And obviously players, you don't want to be in games where it's just blowouts. Uh, you know, we're here in the NBA to compete, you know, at the highest level, which is this is the highest level. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, hopefully it just brings confidence, but we still want to win games better than that. Uh, you don't want to take games to the last second shot. Uh, we got a lot of things we got to work on, uh, which one is taking care of the ball and myself, starting with myself uh, on down. And, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, uh, we want to be in better games than that. Coach talked about how selfish uh, you all were. You all shot over 50%. Do you feel like you were just talking about <clears throat> overcoming turnovers and everything like that, especially in a close game, how important is that unselfishness? I mean, that's what builds great teams. Uh, when you believe in the guy next to you, you know, uh, and you, most importantly, you want the guy to succeed uh, next to you. You know, I feel like those are just great habits to build uh, when you're trying to build something, build a culture, or just build, you know, winning habits, uh, you know, so that's just the most important. And me as an individual, that's just something I love to do. You know, if my teammates open, I want to get you the ball. If I don't get you the ball, you can hold me accountable. And, I tell all them guys you can get on me. You know, you got that green light to, you know, tell me that you was open the next time I get you the ball. That's simple. Dejounte, there was a play with a couple minutes left where you had two of, I think, six rebounds, six offensive rebounds that you got. Uh, what, what's sort of the emotional swing there where you just keep pounding the offensive glass and eventually it breaks through? Uh, I think it's important. You know, usually we're on the other end of that where other teams is, you know, getting a lot of offensive rebounds and. Uh, you know, it just shows that we wanted the ball. You know, Wesley Matthews, our vet, you know, he said something uh, that looked like a bunch of guys that wanted the ball, wanted to win the game. So, you know, I think it's just important, you know, just to compete, you know, uh, on both ends of the floor. Thanks, DJ. Yep.